If you did not know already, then Void Cube has parody. Right now, I have a solved Void Cube, and I'm going to do a parody algorithm on it. There we go. Now I have parody on my Void Cube. So how come you can get parody in a Void Cube, but not a regular 3x3? Well, I'm going to take a look at why this happens and how to fix it. Right now, I have parity on a 3x3, and it is pretty obvious that this is just because the centers are misaligned. But how come I can't just fix the centers like this, and technically have edge parity on a 3x3? Well, this is because the centers are in a 4-cycle type pattern, which is literally center parity. White has moved to red, which has moved to yellow, which has moved to orange, which has moved to white. And this is an impossible case. This would be an impossible edge PLL if it existed. It would look something like this. The red edge has moved to blue, which has moved to orange, which has moved to green, which has moved to red. And this is an impossible PLL. This is called a four cycle, but this is an impossible four cycle because it's impossible to solve. Three cycle, on the other hand, is a possible PLL as it is just the U perm. Orange has moved to green, which has moved to red, which has moved back to orange. So back to the center parity. This is center parity, and since this is a 3x3, center parity also causes edge parity, because only having one parity would be impossible on 3x3. Real parity would be a swap of two edges without moving anything else. This case on a 3x3 is technically just two parities, edge parity and center parity, and since there are two parities, they cancel out, and that means that the cube is actually solvable. Another example of this could be the T-perm. Technically, a T-perm is just edge parity and corner parity, as two corners have swapped and two edges have swapped. But technically, since you have two parities, they just cancel out and the cube is solvable because this is a T-perm and you can just solve it like a T-perm. Now, if I were to add the centers back on, then you would see that these two cases are actually the same. I have edge parity on a 3x3 of centers and edge parity on a void cube. Now the solution to fixing parity might be really obvious. Uh, you just have to solve the centers by aligning them with an M move. And we can also do this on the void cube. Now, white is on the bottom, and you just have to solve the cube regularly, but make sure to keep white on the bottom. You can solve the regular Rubik's cube. Pretend that was good. And now I can solve the void cube. And there you go, parity is solved. Thank you all for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more cubing videos.